we're going to take a look at a program called Wi-Fi Tap. Now, Wi-Fi Tap is a program that's designed to create what's effectively a virtual interface. And this virtual interface is based on the idea of injecting packets into a wireless network. So the program here is Wi-Fi Tap. You can see that if I go to the Applications menu, I go to Kali Linux, Wireless Attacks, 802.11 Wireless Tools, Wi-Fi Tap, it's going to bring it up. Let me just zoom in a little bit so it's a little bit bigger here. Now this is the help menu for it. Now, sometimes you will see a tap or a ton driver, and this is usually a case where we are tunneling packets through a virtual interface. So if you're using a virtual private network, for example, you may see a tap or a ton interface on your system. So what we're doing is we are using the same concept here in order to inject frames into a wireless network, and we can use Wi-Fi tap for that. So let me use Wi-Fi tap here, and I'm going to say my BSSID. This is going to be the BSSID of the wireless access point that you are going to be injecting. So we're going to say 23AA45C4, and then 42. And now I have to specify my input interface for sniffing and my output interface and that's going to be WLAN 0 in my case because I'm running on Kali, and that's just what Kali uses. You can see that they assume it's actually ATH0. The default for the input and the output interface is ATH0. That would be for an Atheros chipset. I don't happen to have that here, so the name of our interface is WLAN 0. Your mileage may vary. You may get a slightly different name, in which case you're going to plug that in instead. So we're going to say Wi-Fi tap. And now we've actually created the interface. Let's actually just take a look here. Again, I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. If I run if config, I should see a list of the interfaces I've got. I don't have it there. If I run IW config, I get my wireless interfaces, and that's it right there. WJ0 is the interface that we have created. You can see WJ0. Now I can configure WJ0 to actually have an IP address, a subnet mask, a default gateway. It will show up in the routing table. And I can then start passing traffic along that virtual interface out into this wireless network. So that's Wi-Fi tap. It's another way of actually passing traffic into a wireless network.